was 23, I studied um, audio engineering in college and there was a class of 30 and I was the only girl in the class. And um, I left after one year because it was really difficult being the only girl and um, my opinions and my musical opinions and my kind of um, technical knowledge were kind of laughed at by the boys but purely because I was female which is absolutely ridiculous and the college tutors actually said to me I'm not surprised you left after one year because there was so much testosterone in that room and I'm just not surprised you left so yeah obviously there's lots of experience being feeling like the minority in the industry and it's just crazy that it's actually still the case considering the fact it's 2016 so yeah so uh, my name's Rebecca Vassmont I'm a DJ and a producer I I've been DJing for about eight years now I also do a live project called Glasgow Jazz Experiment where I kind of combine jazz and house slash techno and work with um, amazing musicians and it's fun and I like it. <laughs> Obviously, the way that you're seen by others, like behind closed doors at nightclubs and all that kind of thing, is completely different to the way that you are actually marketed by either yourself or a management team or a record label or whoever. And I think that even in the kind of uh, underground like music, not necessarily just like pop music and more commercial music, the way that you're marketed is like obviously really important. And I think that a lot of female DJs and producers and um, acts, if you like, are really they use their sexuality in order to be successful even if it's done intelligently in a way that it appears that they're not using their sexuality in order to be successful that is the way that it, it is done and I think that it's kind of making the sexism and the, the situation worse because there's no need to do that because it should be all about the music and obviously with male DJs and male producers they're never going to be um, kind of pushed into a corner by a record label or a brand or whatever and said you must wear this or that or wear you know like have your hair like this or you must go to the gym or you must stay slim or whatever but females probably will and I've experienced that myself when I worked for a big brand in the past where I went to a, a photo shoot and when I turned up to the photo shoot there was actually like makeup and a wardrobe there and the wardrobe was basically a series of really low cut and um, really tight like some sparkly sequined dresses which obviously I refused to wear and the makeup that they wanted to put on me was just like extreme makeup it was just ridiculous because obviously I had my own opinion I decided not to go down that route but I'm sure many young girls who want to be successful would and again that's just that's just crazy industry there's a lot of things which make the sexism kind of worse like for example there's lots of um, DJ agencies which I've seen don't I don't ask me how people have sent me links and whatnot where it's like DJ agencies for girls that DJ in bikinis and even ones like topless ones and just really like cringe worthy and um, sexist things and I think that all the girls that are doing music and then like maybe to just kind of get some kind of notice, be noticed in some way or whatever, I think that that's just making the issue worse and it kind of gives a bad name to like all the other female DJs and obviously they are a minority within female DJs. People don't notice genuine and talented women, they just notice women in bikinis. You know, the UK is actually quite bad for, for sexism and it still exists really badly, even though there's almost like a denial around it and no one wants to admit that it is going on because it's almost like admitting that it's going on almost means that people have to stand up and you know kind of do something about it which perhaps I think people don't want to. I guess like all I would have to add is that the only way that the only reason why like obviously th this exists is because like it's people's perception and the attitude and I guess like through time it will improve and the only way to like help it improve is to obviously like for us all to be equals and like men and women be equal and I guess just it's going to improve as more time goes on and I guess that's all you've got to hope for and also say something about it so that it can get better. Here we are doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it will get better. I hope. <laughs>